Sure, but we're here with John Viner. How are you doing, John? Good, thanks. How are you? Cool. I'm doing pretty well. I'm quite excited, as you can tell. Yeah. Um, so is this your first time in Perth? It is. It's my first time in Perth. What, what do you think of it so far? I'm having fun. It's freezing, but I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah, I swear it's not generally this cold. Um, were you expecting this sort of reaction from Supernova, like all the fans coming to see you and wanting to sign? It's that stuff signed? Uh, I, I was hoping, and yes. They, no, it's been great. I mean, the fans are coming up. They're really knowledgeable about the show. They're excited about this movie, Ted, that I'm in and that I was a part of and that Seth directed. And So, yeah, it's just it's, it's great that people are so aware and knowledgeable. It's kind of creepy that they know so much. That, uh, you know, with Facebook and everything, everyone's stalking everyone, so yeah. there's nothing you can really hide. Well, I put up a lot of lies, though. So. Oh, true. <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about Ted? No. All right, uh, right. Ted is a movie about a teddy bear that a young boy at 10, he wishes was alive. It comes to life and then you cut to 27 years later and you're still stuck with this living teddy bear. But now instead of being a cute teddy bear that talks, it's a living, breathing nightmare of a roommate that does drugs and has bad habits and basically drags you down. Okay, so it's very, um, I'd say the Family Guy, Cleveland Show type of humor in there as, as oh, well? Oh, definitely. And it's, yeah, it's very, it's very R-rated. <laughs> Excellent. So um, just uh, speaking about Cleveland Show, you're one of the producers in that, aren't you? Yes, I'm a yep. writer producer. Um, do, you, do you still find like a lot of the fans of, Cle say, Family Guy and American Dad are still comparing Cleveland Show to those two, saying that oh, it's just a replica type thing? Or I, I think people who who like the shows or you know generally don't make that kind of an assumption. They just they gravitate towards the ones they like. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, mean, I think each show is individual. Family Guy's got a much harder take on a lot of things. Than... Like that time that we interviewed the other person? Yes, you cut, you cut away <laughs> yeah. to, a, to a, an awful thing that happened. Uh, and the Cleveland show tries to be more family oriented and, and I think there's a little bit of a general feel of politics in a different comedy sense to American Dad. So they all try to live independently, but it's, yeah, it's impossible not to compare them. Definitely. And um, just just one final wrap up, like, um... Your time working with Seth uh, Seth McFarlane, um, you reckon, say, people watching at home or anything, what would you give them if they want to work with like Seth MacFarlane writing or animating or something like that? What would I give them? Like if, some advice. If you want to work with Seth? Yeah. Uh, wow, that's a tough question. <laughs> uh, I would I would say impress him in some form of media that gets to him. Okay. I think that would uh, that'd be a good way. He, he's, yeah, he's, he's very knowledgeable and keeps up with what's going on and I think he gravitates towards what he, what he finds funny and and so if you produce stuff and he, he sees it and likes it, he tends to get involved with you. Yeah, so definitely keep up with the times and the media. Yeah. All right. And come down to Supernova as well where you get to meet all these guys. Come and... down to Supernova <laughs> yeah. as well where you get to meet this guy. Well, do we get, do they get to meet you or no? Well, I suppose. I'll be wandering around. All right. Flailing. Find him. He's yeah. not tough to. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. Thanks for your time.